San Diego Comic Con was this past Saturday and Marvel Studios came with a bang, announcing the entire slate for Phase 5 alongside some of Phase 6. Phases 4 to 6 is now officially dubbed the Multiverse Saga and Kevin Feige confirmed that the saga will end with Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 which will both come out in the same year which is insane. Avengers 5 is titled Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers 6 is titled Avengers Secret Wars and it's the latter that I want to focus on in this video because if you know how the 2015 version of Secret Wars ends in the comics then you will know that this is most likely how we will get the core X-Men in the MCU. The Miss Marvel finale was only a few weeks ago and the big revelation at the end of the episode was that Kamala Khan is actually a mutant. She's officially the first mutant to be introduced in the main MCU timeline. Granted, we did have Professor X in Multiverse of Madness but that was an alternate reality version. Furthermore, the main villain in Black Panther Wakanda Forever is Namor and in the comics, Namor is actually the first ever mutant. Whether or not the MCU Namor is a mutant remains to be seen but it's clear that there are already mutants in the main MCU timeline but the question now would be why haven't we heard of them since? And if mutants have always been around then where has for example Magneto been all this time? Surely by now he would have made his presence felt. Maybe this is because as of right now the main MCU timeline does have mutants but the numbers are very few which is why their presence isn't talked about or felt just yet but Secret Wars is the best and easy way to change this. In the 2015 Secret Wars comic every alternate reality of the Marvel Comics multiverse collided, Doctor Doom brought together a jumbled puzzle of a world out of the remaining pieces of the realities while Reed Richards banded together a small group of Marvel heroes on spaceships into Doom's quote unquote battle world reality and at the end of the event a new mixed Marvel universe was forged together from pieces of all the others. For example, Miles Morales was originally from the Ultimates universe but has but he was one of the lucky characters in the multiverse outside the main 616 universe who was saved and placed into the main 616 continuity. But how does this link to the X-Men entering the MCU? Well, if Avengers Secret Wars does what the comics did in terms of placing Miles in the main 616 continuity then the movie will most likely end with different universes merging into the main MCU timeline to become one intertwined universe. Once everything becomes one then we would have a new world where there are now far more mutants than before to the point where they're now being noticed by the larger world. It makes sense that this is a very real possibility considering this is a multiverse saga so having a multiverse X-Men team enter the MCU post Secret Wars fits in line with the theme of this saga. And with that being said what if the Fantastic Four movie also takes place on another alternate reality but then they would merge into the main MCU timeline at the end of Secret Wars? Although I do believe that the Fantastic Four will end up already being in the main MCU timeline I can also see this idea being a real possibility as well considering the multiverse theme that this saga has. But what do you guys think? Is this how you think the X-Men come into the MCU? And if not, then what's your theory? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video across your social media channels. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys later in the next video.